Cecil, the the Alabama offense, there's still some that are that are telling me that Tua needs a role on this team for Alabama to to finish this off. And yet, you look out there in the LSU game and in in the big games that Alabama's played, the tight games, uh, Jalen's gone the gone the whole way. And and I'm like everybody yeah. else. I watch Tua throw the football, and it's clear he's a natural thrower of the football. He's got some God given mm. talents, but. I have some people tell me that I respect that say, listen, Alabama will not be able to win a national championship unless Tua has a role in this offense. Your, your take on that. How, exactly. how, how do they know that? How can you make that announcement? Why, why didn't they say, say at the first of the season, well, they won't be they won't be 9-0 and if Tua runs the offense. They don't know. They're not at practice. How do people know that? Alabama could win the national championship with Jalen playing. And, you know, it, it just reaches a point where – you can blather about it all you want. Right. The, the coaching staff and the head coach didn't think that it would help them win the game to put him in against LSU. So if you know more than he does, great. But to sit there and say they can't do this unless they put the backup quarterback in is the stupidest thing I ever heard. I'm with Anybody you. Anybody who's telling you that, tell them they're stupid. I'm, w- I'm with you, Cecil. I mean, I'm with you 100%. And, you know, that, that, that's such nonsense. All that's doing, all they want to do is set Jalen up for failure to say, oh, if, if Alabama, for whatever reason, plays a really good team or has trouble with all these linebackers being injured, then they can say, well, I told you he couldn't do it. And that's nonsense. That, that kid, that's ridiculous to treat him that way. James, get a And problem. they don't know what Poole will do in those situations any more than anybody else knows. 